This week on Bulldog Broadcast. Mexican Independence Day at the Plaza, celebrating 200 years of freedom. This week in pop culture, Brittany looks out for the student body as we get ready for homecoming week. Victories all around for Bulldog Sports. Good afternoon, Bulldogs, and welcome to this brand new edition of Bulldog Broadcast. I'm Kendall Anderson. And I'm Sofia Valdez. This week's theme is Capture. We are here in the BBC studio where we have been encapsulating memories for years. We've produced an incredible show for you this week, so stay tuned. According to a recent study, half of all American adults cannot read at an 8th grade level. The Children's Reading Foundation is looking to put an end to this staggering statistic. This local group is seeking donations to help promote literacy in children. The foundation aims to give books to families that don't have access to a library. Board member Maria Flores explains why getting to kids is the first step. Our goals are to improve outcomes. It is better to spend money at the beginning of a child's life helping children have books in their hands to be able to take home and by uh, offering classes called First Teacher uh, to show parents how to do simple uh, play and reading with their children. If you're interested in donating, visit readingfoundation.org. Although our Independence Day is long past, Mexico celebrated theirs this past weekend. BBC reporter Hannah Vanderkoy was there to capture the lively festivities. From music to food to games, the Dia de Ses September Festival this past weekend in Old Mesilla captured the essence of Mexico's Independence Day. 200 years ago, after the lengthy Spanish rule, Mexico revolted, gaining its independence. Attendees reflected and celebrated by dancing to spirited music of the mariachi band, sipped on ice-cold beverages, and immersed themselves in Mexican culture. Festivity goers share why this day is important to them. It brings our community out, it joins them together, and it gives everybody a common bond and something to enjoy. It's good to go back to one's roots and uh, kind of go back to uh, where one came from. Wow, no sé, significa muchísimo porque soy mexicana. The festivities offered opportunities for all ages, including bouncy houses, bocotico performances, and elegant henna tattoos. Henna artist Cynthia McDonald illustrates her love for this event. I love this festival. I love the food. <laughs> and the music and the dance. Reporting for Bulldog Broadcast, I'm Hannah Vandergoy. Thanks, Hannah. That looked really fun. Yeah, it did. Las Cruces High School is actually having a celebration next week. That's right. It's homecoming. Sunday, September 21st, will be homecoming decorating day. Clubs, sports, organizations, and students are welcome to join. The decorating will start at 2 and end at 4 with a cookout. If interested, stop by Miss Gardner's room, C25, to sign up. Homecoming is one of the most spirited weeks of the year. We have a lot of events planned for the school, including dress-up days. That's right, Kendall. Now Brittany will show us some good and maybe not so good ideas for this week. Apple will be releasing the new iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, but it ain't on the dollar menu, so Brit Rom ain't gonna have a new phone. The new iPhone is now the slimmest model with the 5.5 inch screen. But really, if you want a screen that big, I heard that Walmart has their tablets on rollback. Miley Cyrus was spotted in the recall section at Toys R Us. A few days later, she released her newest collection, Dirty Hippie. Her collection features a mixture of raver bracelets, plastic jewelry, and clip-in neon hair extensions. Next week is Homecoming Week, which is your chance to take your fashion statements to infinity and beyond. Monday will be Pajama Day. Tuesday will be Alien Day. Wednesday will be Star Day. Thursday will be Decades Day. And Friday will be Spirit Day. I'll be looking out for the best dressed all week long. But if you feel like you should be featured on next week's episode of This Week in Pop Culture, please make sure to tag and at us at LCHS BBC. Well, that's all that's trending this week, Bulldogs. Remember to stay fresh, fab, and fierce. This has been Just Brit with Pop Culture. Thanks, Brittany. Now that we have the fashion side of home coming down, let's move on to Bulldog Sports. Boys soccer continues to amaze us, beating Carlsbad 3-1 with goals made by Dylan Udero, David Mendez, and Elliot Burkett. 
The boys beat Hobbs 2-0 on Saturday with both goals made by Alex Herrera. The boys will be taking on La Cueva tomorrow at 7 at the Field of Dreams. Good luck, dogs! Bulldog football pulled off an amazing win this past Friday against the Volcano Vista Hawks, winning 28-22 with a pass made by Cameron Miller to Aeneas Reynolds, making a touchdown in the last 9 seconds of the game. The boys now have a record of 3-0. They will be taking on the Rio Rancho Rams on Friday. Good luck, boys! The Lady Dog soccer team faced off against Hobbs on Saturday, winning 1-0 with a PK kick made by Gwen Holtzman. The ladies will travel up to Albuquerque to play Volcano Vista in La Cueva tomorrow. Good luck, ladies. Volleyball will travel up to Albuquerque on September 20th. They will face the La Cueva Bears. Good luck, ladies. Thanks, Sophia. Students for Sustainability is offering a big reward for going green. Carpool Day will be on Tuesday, September 23rd from 7.45 to 8.30 a.m. If you ride with three or more people, you will have a 15-minute extended lunch. Well, that's all we have for you this week, dogs. I'm Sophia Valdez. And I'm Kendall Anderson. Have a great four-day weekend. Thanks for watching.